Alright, welcome back everyone, I'm Morali, and uh, we're here at uh, Prison Island, and I believe we're ready to face off against Dixon. We're about to go into this home. I'm trying to figure out what's at the end of it. Is that like a statue or something? I can't tell. Uh, yeah, I, I last episode was kind of ranty, it was kind of my comeback from, you know, I, I talked about my dog and blah blah blah. I haven't uploaded, this is just a few minutes after I recorded the episode, and I obviously haven't uploaded it or anything. Um, so, yeah, and, and I, I don't want you guys to feel too bad for me, I mean, you know, it's kind of normal, and to kind of go a little bit into it with my dog for just a second here, my dog was very old, and for those of you that have watched my streams and have been, uh, part of the channel and maybe in Discord and stuff, uh, you know, his sister passed away in April, I want to say, and then, uh, you know, they were both very old. I mean, he had just turned 15 in November. Um, and for a bigger dog, that's actually really, like, that's pretty old. Like, he was old. And he was getting there with, like, he couldn't really see anymore. Um, which, when that, when his vision first went, it was kind of confusing for him. So he started barking at everything. He kind of got used to it after a while. He kind of got used to, uh, I feel like he, he whatever his vision did he started to understand his vision or something because he started doing it a lot less uh but then he also couldn't walk anymore and he was having issues like chewing and uh, hearing was gone like he had no hearing whatsoever so we had to like motion everything to him so it was just kind of it was time you know so it was very sad because he was like you know i i got him and his sister from the litter you know from like right when they were able to be uh, taken away from their mom, so it was kind of sad, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, I have his ashes here, and, uh, he's together with his sister, and, yeah, so anyways, I just kind of wanted to touch on that for a minute, we're here at Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, Prison Island, so we're inside of Bionis, right, and again, it's kind of like, it looks like, I remember the first time I played through it, I didn't understand that Prison Island was inside, and I was like, where is everything? Where's the Bionis? Are we like flowing, flying? I, I, I think I remember thinking like we're just way up in the sky above the Bionis, and it's just um. But no, we're inside of the Bionis, and uh, we're here to, you know, w well, we're trying to find Zanza and defeat him, but uh, you know, people stand in our way. So, uh, the the what are they called? The Trinity, the Trinity of something, the Trinity of Disciples, or whatever they were called, uh, which was Lorthea and Alvis and Dixon. Uh, so Lorthea has been defeated, so she's gone. Next up is Dixon, and then we'll have to probably deal with Alvis, right? So, Corridor Silent. Whoa, that's really ominous. All right, let's go in. No more dilly-dally. Again, more Where of the- Where are we? What is this place? It looks like a cathedral. There's an altar over there. These have scary faces. Hmm. We better take a look. I like that they added an echo because it's such a big hall. You see something, Shulk? This indentation. It looks like something should fit inside it. Yep. Ricky, feel like something here. It's probably a way up to the top. Could it really be that easy? There's no use thinking about it. Let's search for whatever fits into the gap. Alright, so we're looking for something to fit inside of the gap. Use the dragon summon. Yeah, everything is dragon themed in here. It was really cool, but we haven't seen any dragons. Really in this game at all. Have we seen any dragons? Yet? Is there more treasure chests around? I feel like there would be more treasure... Oh, okay. There's a bell tower there? What's on the other side? Also, oh, that's a closed door. Okay, uh, wait, what did I do? Oh, there's stairs. Okay, I was kind of confused for a second. And um, we go to that bell tower, as you guys can see. Uh, and it's, I guess it's spirals? That's why the, why the uh, yellow dots are like kind of all over there, over there. All right, let's do it. So we gotta find something that fits in the indentation. Solaire Nebula. Ooh, look at this. So there's a little side tower right here. Oh god, and we got these guys. A gim a gimran e a eagle. Eagle? Eagle? It's not eagle. I don't know. 
I, I gave up pronouncing these names a long time ago. It was so random. Freeze! Ice wave! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, we're so good! Oh my god, Chosen One, Eclipse Gondolas, Hyrix. Wow. Wow. Wow! And more skill tree stuff. Wow. What is this? Uh, let's see. Is this like the ultimate weapon? Oh, he already has the chosen one. Back attack, art stealth. What's the sickle? No. Alright. Wow. We got some good stuff there. Everyone, stay on your guard. I'm gonna go all out. But I'm pretty sure the equipment we have is better, or at least. Uh... Can you guys? I was gonna say. Oh God, we got someone. We got someone else involved. And our struggles here. I'm gonna knock him down. Bam! Ah, oh, I got it! Nice! Look at that, guys! Do you see that? Okay, we got a boss. I... I didn't... I just realized that. I realized we had a boss. What is happening? Where are we going? Why, why are we all running away? What, what, wait, what? What is going on? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, come back! Come back! Do you guys see Fiora? Fiora's... <laughs> what is she doing? Where is she going? Oh my god! <laughs> We're so gonna die. What is even happening? Oh my god... This is so bad. <laughs> She like just walked away and just like got everyone involved in this freaking battle. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. Let's do chain attack. Burn an aid. AoEs! We need them! Because AoEs are the way to go right now with all of this stuff happening. Let's try to. Oh, I can't knock him down. Kick him. That's okay, he's dead anyways. Oh, that's a big fucker, too. Look at him. Oh, sorry. Sorry for those that don't like cursing. I try not to do it on my. I, I curse so much on my. On my. Um. On my streams and stuff, I try not to do dumb playthroughs, but look at that gigapore, masterful. Oh yeah, let's do it. Yeah, Ah, I messed up. I don't like those swords. Uh, is, is that is, like, am I the only one that thinks that way? Like, I don't like them. Behold my power. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Glorious Meteor. Not good. That's it. Oof. And it dazes. Okay. Can I knock him down? I don't think I can. Go. 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 No. Uh-oh. I'm gonna step away. Oh! Oh, it's around him. I forgot. I forgot. It wasn't around her. Oh, no, 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 I didn't get it in time. I was gonna do a heal barrier. Come on, Melia. Stand up. Sorry to bother you. Surging torrent, strike off those. Your fighting spirit is mine. All you keep on rolling. Uh oh. Tail smash. Okay, that's just a single target. Okay, that's fine. It's a single target, so we'll be fine on that. That's okay. And I'm gonna shoot three bolts out. Boom. And that's it. Right here. That's it. Oh my god, look at all these chests. 
literally, I don't know why, she must have targeted, I must have accidentally targeted one of those guys that's flying around. Why is his tail going black? Can you see that? Or purple, not black. Oh, we got some kind of something. I didn't even look what we were getting. I was looking at the other guy in the back. We did get some kind of arts manual, which again is nice to have. But yeah, that was a little crazy. She must have targeted someone in the way back. And uh, yeah, that was bad <laughs> for a minute. Let's look at equipment. Did we get anything interesting? Oh, we got Lancelot stuff, which again, we have the Arturian things going on, which is weird. Um, nothing here, Lancelot gear. Helmet does the fusion. Oh, okay, so this is like the Lancelot gear is from from the Alliance, right? Because it's Homs, Nopon, and I High Entia. So that's like the uh, new ultimate stuff for the soldiers of the Alliance. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, so we have the Star Knives. Um. Oh, no, the Segment Drones. Um, yeah, it's just... I don't know, I'm not, I'm not huge. Because I kind of like the gun drones more than the sword drones. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I wish we could get better drones. Uh, let's look at arts for a second. What did we get? Sneaky, spear blade, and stream edge. Uh, nothing... I don't think any of this is being... Oh, this is actually being used. Okay. Let's level it up, then. wonder what else... I wonder what else we can level. I haven't even looked at this in a while. Ooh, guys, look at this. Freezenade, boom, done. Burninade, done. Awesome. So Burninade does that, and then Freezenade does that. The thing is on Freezenade, look at that cooldown. You can constantly cast that, which is amazing. Uh, happy, happy, we can level that up a little bit. Totally, I, I totally forgot that we need to level some of these. Here we are, we can do it now. First end, I wish I could get more manuals here for these. Um, I don't, you know, whatever, spear break, just level that up, I guess. <laughs> whatever, doesn't matter. Is there, there's not a lot, yeah, we need a ton more manuals. It's so weird, because I, I looked up, I think I talked about that, how I looked up the manual situation, and someone said, get, and, and that was something, I think I talked about this as well, where in the skill links, they said to get all the, like, um, the chest stuff up. Which I think is this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, getting gold chests, I need 45 uh, coins for that. Um, but to do that on every character, go through and, like, give everyone the golden chest thing. Uh, give Ricky, you know, all the skill links, go through, and whatever Ricky, whatever connection, hexagon connection do the gold chest kind of thing, uh, and you'll be swimming in manuals. I mean, I've done a couple of them, but I feel like we're not swimming in manuals, and I feel like even if we increased it, we would not be swimming in manuals. Uh, there's so far and few between, and I, I and we're getting a lot of golden chests. It's not like we're not getting golden chests. We are getting plenty of golden chests, but we're not even getting any manuals out of them. So it's just kind of like, okay, gold, getting gold. Did you see that? Time of day changed, and then the item changed to some. I don't even know what we collected. I was gonna be like, oh, we got a different thing. I think we did get a different thing. Oh, and an item appeared there. Uh, but yeah, so, I, I don't know. The manuals thing is kind of weird. It's, it's just, you know, I, I wish there was a way um, where one of the skill links is like, you get a higher chance of dropping a manual from an enemy. Like, that would be really cool. But again, once you drop those manuals, you, you know, there's nothing... There's nothing important to be done with them. You know, once you get a manual, you're done with it. Ooh. Alright, so we get the little bell. 
Bing, bing. Is that gonna summon some kind of demon lord? Demon lord. Agatar or whatever. Oh, it's a dragon. I just spoke of not having dragons. There is a dragon. Oh, it's a scary looking dragon. Yeah, I... I and, you know, I, I kind of repeat myself on this, but... Again, so the whole idea of, like, dragons in this game and how this whole prison island is looks completely different and it feels out of place and it's more, like, Dark Souls-y, like, a little bit more Elden Ring-ish, you know, like, from software kind of stuff um, with the way that it has the design. It, it's just kind of weird, right? It kind of feels like someone created Prison Island and the surrounding areas and the enemies for it. And then the game makers had to be like, okay, how do we fit that into our fantasy world that is a little bit different? Um, how do we fit the whole like dragon theme? Da -da 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 -da. And I wish there was like, I wish there was some some kind of backstory to it. Like, I wish they would explain to us like, I don't know, maybe the other Xenoblade Chronicles are gonna give us some explanation as to like the the idea of the dragon the dragon theme to prison island okay i can't even target him all right are we all here let's go can i target him now i can dragon king alcar what he's 79 what stay on your guard. You stay on your guard. i'm gonna go all out you're fighting oh, very oh, oh he got knocked out knock him down yeah. Uh oh. Already starting. Bastille Sky. Bye. Oh my lord. No, I had my reflection thing on. Oh, so annoying. Can you heal us, please? Come on, heal. Oh, thank God. I gotta knock him down. I gotta knock him down. Knock him down. Knock him down. Do it. Oh my god. Ah, tail swipe. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, thank god. I gotta knock him down. Oh. <laughs> Please. Heal us. Ricky. Okay, he's done. Yeah, we got the dra- Oh, that's what fits in there. A dragon eye. Ooh, that was tough. Whoa, that was a lot of fire. Jesus. Oh, we don't even get an item? Oh, come on. It could have given us some kind of chest. Holy crap. Stingy. Fine. We'll just move on. We don't need it. So that was Dragon King Alcar. He's the king of the non-existent dragons. Because uh, he's the only one. Who are, we, uh, are we supposed to be have been on there? Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, did the teleporter leave? Or the... Elevator leave without us. And let's go. So it was that little, that red thing right there. That glowy thing that went in there. I don't know if that was clear from the, from the video earlier, from when they were discussing it. All right. Uh, maybe we're facing off now against Dixon? Uh, I don't know. Use the teleporter. I can sense Dixon. We must be near the top. If we proceed from here, we will be unable to return. Are you ready to go on? Alright guys, this is the point of no return. We're gonna go.
because enough yes, I'm ready. enough doing extra shit. I think we've done a lot of extra stuff. Aren't you scared? I would be lying if I said no. Of course. But still, we must go on. Agreed. We know what we're fighting for. We decided ages ago. <laughs> Dunban? Oh, sorry. I just got caught up in the moment. Come on, Dunban. Right, let's go. Time to seize our destiny. Time to seize our destiny. Destiny. Ooh. Patharon, we can't hold out any longer. Stop complaining. We're not the only ones fighting. Believe in Shulk and the others. We will defend this place until they get back. That's the plan, so stick to it. Uh, understood. Ah! Uh. Oh, that's one of those big two, I think. Remember, the, the face mac on were created in order to stop Bionis, right? That was like the whole idea was fight Bionis, uh, stop it from, you know, stop Zanza from like resurrecting. That was the whole idea. Um, that's why they were created. Um, you know, and also they were created because of the Monado not being effective against them and all that. But yeah, so, you know, we're all, you know, the long time the lifetime enemies that we've had the mechon are fighting with us now because we all have one goal and that's defeating uh the but telethia or more so you know zanza and stuff so here we are guys this is the original this is where we originally i believe this is where we originally were uh this teleporter right here we came out of when we were originally on prison island with the emperor and this is where we met zanza or argus was it argus uh the giant you know that was locked in prison i'm sorry guys locked in prison island uh this was the f i think this was the uh the when we were first here i could be wrong no i think this is it guys this is this is the uh, platform so uh this is where dixon is waiting for us okay so let's go Let's face Dixon at the top of Prison Island. I'll never get used to this feeling. Prison Terrace. I think this is it, right? Doesn't it look like that? Maybe it's not. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Dixon! Kept me waiting a while, Shulk. Waiting? For us to fight you? Yeah, that's what it's come to. Or will you just shut up and let me kill you? We'll never do that. Just as I expected. Hmm. Wouldn't have it any other way. I've been working for Lord Zanza since the beginning. I raised you purely so he could live on. I know. And I must thank you for granting me such power. It's all down to you that I'm standing here, ready for you now. Enough talk, boy. 
Dixon! If you're so determined to stop us, then we will kill you! Alright, there's Dixon's true form, one of the giants. But he has like these weird wings, and I don't know. Uh, I feel like these, like, like the wings and stuff, it just, it just came later. That wasn't part of his like original, like, body or something. Oh no, what is even happening? How? Do, do, do some here. Encourage. Encourage, encourage. Maybe I underestimated you lot. God, I hate the spikes. The spike thing. That's, if if none of the enemies had any spike damage, I will tell you what, guys. I would never lose. That's what sucks. Oh, I'm gonna knock him down before he can do it. Go, 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 go! Knock him back! Oh, I got it. Just in time. Awesome. Fantastic. Oh, no. I got interrupted. Wait, what? What's happening? Okay. This is getting boring. You worms are no match for me. We were doing really well, actually. I see you've inherited Mayneth's power. Not her power. Huh? I've inherited her memories. That's why I fight you. Fiora! Memories, huh? And what good are those meant to be? Can't use memories to kill anyone. Why are you fighting? You're helping Zanza to create a world where nothing exists. What could you possibly hope to get out of it? <laughs> Only those with power have the right to decide such things. You're wrong! Zanza just tells me where to fight and I fight. And that's how I like it. Is that your reason? For fighting? It's the only reason. Maynath wished for a world where the peoples of Bionis and Mechonis could live hand in hand. You will never get away with this! Is that right? Then what are you gonna do about it? In that feeble fight? <laughs> Body doesn't have a banana anymore. Who knows how much life it's got in it? Hey, better say uh, goodbyes. It can't be. I'm fine. Uh, I'll carry on fighting beside you until the very end. Fiora. Well then, we better make this quick. <laughs> What's that? Little boy lost his Monado and can't do a thing without it. Be careful. Well, you can't. It's time to learn your play. <gasps> Did you not say that you wanted to be with Shulk? Do not throw your life away for this scoundrel! She's right. You have to take what you want. There's no point in dying! You're nothing! Shulk! Show him what you're made of! Come on, man! You don't need the Monado to take down this piece of scum. Ah. No, Ricky, no. Ricky, no Shulk brave. Ricky want to see the old Shulk. Shulk is real hero pon. Shulk! Real power comes from within. 
didn't believe in your own true strength, Shulk. Everyone. Shulk. It's time, Shulk. Let's finish this. I will not fail. With your faith in me, and our strength combined, we can do this. Sure. You ever gonna make this worth my while? Huh? Ooh, they're both like powered up. Can't be. That power. Yeah, so it's kind of. It gives you. I, I think this was something that was mentioned beforehand as well. Is the power of, you know, shaping your own destiny and believing in oneself, kind of thing, you know? And that's kind of where that comes from. Oh God, no, no. <laughs> Can we take the aggro off of me, please? Because oh my god, I got stash. Oh, I'm gonna die. Please heal me. Please heal. Me. I'm dead. Wow, now you use it right as I die? Stupid. It's really stupid. Oh, come on. My God, come on, get up! Why does he? Yeah, stop yelling like that. Jesus is so annoying. Oh, crap. That's gonna cost you. Take this. Wait, I didn't. I... No, that's not good. Didn't I knock him down? Okay, that didn't work. Uh, I'm gonna stay back. Oh no! Ricky just died! That's okay. Oh god, it was so slow. Oh, okay. I'm not doing this very well right now, but we're winning, so I'm fine. There you go. I just wanted the power of a god. This martyr stuff's not for me. Go! I ain't gonna risk my life to stop ya. Get back here! You expect us to let you go? What? Enough. It's Sansa we're after. Not him. Uh, okay. How 
that kid gets her strong. I ain't gonna let you see me die. <sighs> I won't give you the satisfaction of victory. <sighs> see ya, kid. Like the student finally surpassed the teacher. Huh. Shulk, his wounds. So he's putting on a face because he didn't want them to see him die. But Dixon has been defeated. And there's Zanza. Why can I not see any further? Now that I possess both Monados, I should be at one with the passage of fate. Why does the vision end here? Huh? So Dixon has passed. Lorothea too. How can this be? Are Telethia growing weak? How could they be defeated by such worthless mortals? This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. A world that has no need for gods. <laughs> there is no world without a god. This world belongs to me! So Zanza, as we know, has the power to see the future, but he can only see to a certain point. Where are we? What happened? It night time. Is Ricky have bad dream? Look down. Look at all the stars. We're not on Bionis anymore. There's no land or sea either. So, wh what's what's going on? Where are we? Um, I will tell you guys. This is this is uh, Saturn. This is Saturn, and this is the we're in the middle of the ring of Saturn, and we have this like, like why are we in space again? I I will point out. Remember how like Shulk was having like dreams and visions and blah blah blah, and he was talking specifically to Elvis a lot of times. I think when that happened. Uh, they were also in space. Whoa, look at that. Uh, like, they crashed together. Asteroids crashed together. Looks really cool. I mean, this is just like... You know, if there's anything worth, like... Taking screenshots off, man, in this game. It's definitely this. Like, very cool. So he has this, like, red... Uh, it kind of tells us where to go. Uh, but look who it is. It's Spirit Mumkar. Let's defeat Spirit Mumkar. He doesn't say anything, he's just kind of there. Okay, kind of weird. I'm knock him down. But yeah, so Dixon did, you know, get defeated. And he had some kind of, you know, he, he acted such a tough guy, and, you know, but he did, deep down somewhere, he had, you know, he you know, loved Shulk in his own way, you know, because he's like almost like a father to him. For many years they were together and they did a lot of things together. So it's kind of, you know, and Shulk was is was sad too, you know, because that's not how he wanted it to go or end or whatever, you know. So I kinda wanna see an asteroid like crash into another one, but I don't 
know when this happens. And I'm zoomed out all the way, I can't even zoom out anything. Like, I want to see that happen, I feel like that should happen again. But yeah, this is Saturn, guys. Okay, I don't think... Yeah, I don't see it. I don't know. You can probably go back in the video and actually see it. For yourselves, if you want to see, it's probably in there somewhere. Alright, let me go to this light. And let's see where we go. Uh, oop. Ooh, ooh, where do we get teleported to? Well, this is Jupiter, which is a landmark. So let's look. Uh, I can't even open the map. So Saturn was over there. I mean, it's so far away that, you know, you, you can't just like, oh, look, it's over there. But yeah, and we're, uh, we're kind of moving in. Oh, and some kind of um, comet is flying by Jupiter. Look at that. I don't know what that is. It's leaving a trail. Uh, but yeah, it's Jupiter right here. Uh, this is very like Destiny 2 when you're on like Europa. Um, you can kind of see Jupiter as well. Uh, it looks a lot smaller. I mean, where is Europa here? Do we, or any of the like Io and any of the other big moons? We don't see any of the big moons. All right, who's this? Zord. Remember, he's the first face Mechon that we faced off. We still don't know who he really was. I mean, we know he was some kind of person from Colony Six, but we don't know really uh, who he was or what connection he had. I don't think they ever hinted at that. I don't think they you were ever really meant to find out who he was. As like a character. I think he was just supposed to give you the first hint of like people being in there, right? Because he there's a lot of things that he says. When you go back to that, you can go back to the episode and see what he says. And now that you know that face mechons are made from humans, a lot of the stuff he says at the very end makes a ton of sense all of a sudden. Where it's just like, oh, that's why he said that. Uh. You know, it's one of those things. Alright, we're moving further ahead. Another spirit defeated. And where are we going now? Ooh. Whoa. Mars. Okay. Moving further through space. And we have. Who is that? That's a big Telethia, holy crap. That's just a spear Telethia, but that's a massive Telethia. Oh, look at it. Doesn't look that big, but I could tell from just kind of the perspective. I was like, that's a big Telethia. Please, ice wave. Knock him down, and bam, bam, oop. Level up, nice, Ricky leveled up. Alright, okay, where are we going next? Ooh, and we have some kind of, uh, ooh, look at that, we have some kind of meteor shower above Mars. That's kind of cool. I love it. It's really cool. We get some cool stuff here. Let's see where we go now. Ooh, guys, it's the moon. Yeah, look at that. We're at the moon right now. Um. Oh, look who it is. It's Gado. Spirit Gado. Uh, knock him down again. Oop, don't get up. <laughs> get back down. Get back down. Go lightning and lightning and lightning. Not uh, bad. Not bad. Just keep going. Okay, so uh, let's go, and this is where the red flag is. So I guess we're going to Earth.
It's beautiful. Is that a ball of water? <laughs> so, you finally made it, Shulk. <gasps> it's you. What is it, Shulk? I cannot wait to see which path you choose. Let us meet again after you have made your choice. Ugh. Welcome, Shulk. That voice! It's Zanza! But he looks different. I had planned to use the body obtained from Shulk as a vessel in which to dwell for the next millennium. However, I came to possess a great and unexpected power. Maynith's Monado. Correct. In addition to my own Monado, which you kept safe for me, I was also able to obtain a second weapon which holds the power of creation. Now I possess all I desire. There is no longer any need for the life of Bionis. I must thank you indeed, Shulk. You were of more use to me than any of my disciples. Now that I have the Monados, I can forgive you your betrayal. Ha! You're gonna give him a reward? Precisely. I will have him serve as my new disciple. You will be granted eternal life and unimaginable strength. Death will be but a fleeting afterthought. Are you so arrogant to believe that the High Entia... No. All life on Bionis are nothing but your playthings! Playthings? Yes! You don't know how it feels to have slain my brethren after they are transformed into Telethia. What, what are you, are you talking, talking about? A Telethia is a High Entia's true form. I did not transform them, I returned them. The Telethia are mere cells from my body. I conferred intelligence upon them on a mistaken whim, creating a primitive life form. The High Entia. They enjoyed a brief existence as sentient beings. For that, they should be grateful. Huh. So this is the arrogance of a creator. As I planned, the life of Bionis existed simply to serve as my vessels and my food. Bionis is nothing more than an accumulation of their corpses and life energy. But though you feign omnipotence, the High Entia still can find you to Prison Island. That is how limited you are. Confined me. I was merely resting there for a while. I was wounded in the battle with Maynath's vessel. I simply awaited the day when a new vessel, revealed to me in a vision, would be born. Until... I was born. Precisely. I intended to inhabit your body, and once again do battle with Maynath. However, I had no idea that I would defeat her so easily. Maynath... You did a great deed in granting me a new Monado. I will gladly take you as my new disciple. Shulk. Never! I don't want to be your vessel, or your disciple. I just want to live my life as a Homs, in a world without you! That is most regrettable. You could have entrusted all to me and attained peace. But perhaps the vision of mortals will ever remain limited. Using one's power to change the world that is a right possessed only by gods. Is that why you laid waste to Maconis? Of course. Along with the beings called Machina, who followed Maynard. 
They had evolved and become insolent under her protection. <laughs> so you're saying us Hongs are next in line, eh? You are correct. You yourselves have proven that Hongs are a dangerous species. How unfortunate. I had a desire for friendship. But granting intelligence to the lives I created was a mistake. A god should not long for friendship. You're wrong! Maynard chose to exist alongside us. She grew to consider us her friends. You should have accepted that. But what you were hoping for was not friendship. You wanted worthless slaves. Our lives as food. Just as I suspected, it appears that I was mistaken to grant free will. However, all will soon be over. The Telepia will exterminate all life on Bionis. I will then create a new world. Just as I have done many times before. We will not allow it. We cannot. We will stop you. All right. Ooh, guys. I guess this is the finale for the main game, at least. Uh, so he has kind of transformed. He has his armor on, and it's very Bionis-like. You know, it looks like Bionis. Uh, but he also has, because of the different Monados, so one half looks uh, uh, looks like Telethia-ish, and then the other side looks like Mekon-ish, you know? So he's kind of transformed uh, to prepare himself for this battle. It's one thing I want to say, again, and it's me probably reading too much into these games sometimes. I overanalyze certain things. So, you know, he talks about, like, giving free will, and, and giving uh, intelligence to the high NT and stuff. If it's so simple for him to do that, why can't he just take it away? Why can't he just say take free will away from us? Or is it is it like a is it like some kind of process that he has to do? Is it like um, you know he has to prepare like I don't know like a ritual or like say like oh the next generation of creatures that are gonna come on this planet are gonna have intelligence or be sentient beings or something like is that something he has to make like a conscious choice of and then he can't just like take it away because if he's really that powerful that he can grant intelligence and free will and all of these things why can't you just take him away right it's kind of like i question that but anyways so we're here and um yeah we're here to defeat him to end it we want to live as pr to put it in simple terms as shulk did and, and that's something that I really, really like about the cutscene was, I just, and he says it with such a frustrating voice that I'm just like, yes, you know what I mean? I really feel it because he's just like, I just want to live my life as a humps without you in it. Like, that's all I want to do, you know? And that's pretty much our goal at this point. It's just like, get rid of him and live our lives. So let's do it. Let's fight. Uh, I, I have no idea. Summon God. Can I knock him down? I wonder. Oh, I can. Interesting. I want to get rid of these little guys first. Sansa Guardian. Uh-oh. Uh. -oh. uh. Uh. <laughs> it's really funny. Oh no no no! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Help him! Encourage him! I'm not across. Ooh, we're not across eight. Behold, supreme power. Uh. No, I think I Did you? No. How can you still have visions? How can you still have visions? So Shulk just had a vision, right? And it's only because the prompt. Oh, that was weird. I was pressing the button. And... Oh, oh, what's happening? I think it's my controller, guys. 
I talked about this last episode. I think my controller... Okay, hold on. Let's try a different controller. I want to see real real quick. Sorry, guys. Hold on. I have a different pro controller, so it's fine. Okay, yeah, this works. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That, that other pro controller, like I said, I thought it has issues, and apparently now... I think it... My hands get kind of warm. They don't get like super sweaty or anything, but they get like really warm. Um, and maybe it's because it gets too hot or something and it overheats in there. This one is working fine. Okay, that was weird. I was just like, oh my god, the buttons are not. Uh, what is this? Increased damage. Ooh. Yeah, but we have ether. We have ether, ether based stuff, so. Uh-oh, I can't revive Ricky if he... Uh-oh. I gotta... I gotta revive Ricky. Encourage him. Heal me. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got a cutscene. I like it. You mere vessels dare to oppose the will of a god. Then I shall obliterate everything with my unimaginable power. Oh. Oh god, guys, he's I think he's huge now. Oh my god, look at him. Behold the true form of a united world. He looks very high end high end ish, right? <laughs> Doesn't he? Oh my god, now we gotta defeat him again. Oh my god, I was doing so good. This isn't even my final form. Very art very JRPG, right? Oh my god, he's huge. Look at him. Alright, we can see. So if I miss the prompt, we cannot see the future. And then he just gets to attack. Oh, ho, 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 my. Okay, it's fine. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of... Oh my god, no, 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 I need to use it. Is he gonna use it? Oh my god, what? Now he's using it? He took so long on the prompt. Oh my god, okay, revive me, please. Wow, that was really dumb. Because it's like, what the hell? He took forever to actually execute it. If he hadn't, I would have been able to, like, just block it. Oh, and then there's these orbs flying. Oh god, we're just seeing some kind of future. Titan Bazooka. Oh god, look at that. Oh, Jesus. I gotta get out of the way. I gotta get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. You are all doomed. I'm sorry, Fiora. Oh. How can this be? Uh oh. The future doesn't belong to you. Black hole. I'm sorry. Is that all the backbone you have? How can this be? What? Witness my true power. Okay. Alright, I kept my knockdown and my reflect because, you know, I just. Okay, that's not too strong, actually, so I think I'm doing okay. I just gotta get. Uh. I got healed and that, uh, and then. Mine 
World reconstruct. Oh my god, what is happening? I can't see anything. Oh my god, what's happening? Okay, so we have a new world that that's being born right now uh, around us. So kind of pay attention to that, guys. I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my knockdown for a little bit. Uh oh. Am I gonna get a prompt? No. What is happening? What are we doing? How? How can you have visions? You no longer possess the Monado. I don't know. It comes from the bottom of my heart. It shows me my enemy. It reveals the future I must change. The future we see is not set in stone. There are infinite possibilities based on the paths we choose. You should be well aware of this notion. For that is how you have always existed. That, that is, is a right for gods, and gods only! Why should we care? What's important isn't whether you can see the future or not. It's the will to make a choice, and the strength to seize your destiny. Our time has come. Our destiny is our own! Can it be? It is not only you that has the right. Every living thing has the freedom to choose the path they walk. And that is the future. A third Monado has appeared. How can this have happened? You are mere mortals! So a Monado has appeared. I feel like we should be using Shulk with the new Monado. Uh, let's... Can we look at it at least? <laughs> look at that thing. It's longer than like it goes into the ground. Monado 3. Doesn't have any special effects on it. Um, does is there like any interesting gear that I can put on him? I'm like, ooh, that's really good. I mean, maybe I shouldn't do that because I feel like I'm gonna lose then, but. This is 55. Yeah, this is actually better grace. This is much better. I kind of want to use it, but... Ether up. Let's give him that. Electric plus. I know he has an electric attack, does he? Um, I don't know if I really want to swap, but I might swap her out. Ooh, there's a. Oh, we don't have any coins, so let's just forget about that. Alright, so let's look at what arts he has. I mean, we should be using... Oh, Stream Edge, he should really level that. That's a really good ability. Stream Edge. And Buster, I mean, I can level all of these up. Let's do Buster. Alright, let's try it with Shulk, and let's see... Uh, instead of Fiora... Let's do that, and let's use Shulk as well. I kind of change it up at the very end, you know, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, since we're doing the fina finale, look at that Numenado that we got. I hope I can... I'm gonna heal myself. Can I have a back attack? Mine is the one true Monado! Instrument of destruction and rebirth. I'm really feeling oh. it. Back attack. Burning it. My turn. Shoot whatever you have. Alright, cool. Bravo. Oh, bravo. We did it. This will leave a mark. I kind of want to use the Monado. You know, it's kind of. So, Monado has been created because. Uh, you know, he doesn't get to choose what future- okay. This is the power of a god. So we have visions without me having to push the prompt. Oh. 
gonna die. It's gonna happen. <laughs> Probably not a good choice bringing in Shulk. I think we just lost. Oh, that little guy. Little guardian or whatever. Yeah, I think we're... Okay. Well, it was a nice notion trying to use Shulk, but... And this, obviously, is going to be the finale, and it's just going to be a little bit longer. Okay, so, um... Change the part. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I tried, but it's just not... You know, I haven't... But we should be fine. Your existence cannot be permitted. I will destroy you. Is this from like the fight before we get them? No, no, no. We already had the Minato, so this is just like the same. So, wait, where are you going? He's like running away from me. Mine is the one true Minato, instrument of destruction and rebirth. Knock him down. Okay, let's do a chain attack. Oh, I heard him use that, and I was like chain attack. I interrupted my own mind blast, but that's okay. Yeah, we're just much stronger this way. <laughs> we're doing this way more damage this way. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you're... You are nothing. Lurgy. Wow, we did so much damage. We literally did half of his life in that combo. Art of War. How? The, the power of a god cannot be overcome. Zanza. This is the providence of the world. Even gods are merely beings restricted to the limited power determined by providence. That power, although great, is not unlimited. That voice! Alvis! How dare you disobey me! Ah! I am Monado. I was here at the beginning. And I will proclaim the end. But that, that's, that's impossible. impossible. Shulk, it is time for you to choose. Does this world belong to Zanza, or does it belong to you? That is something I decided long ago. Ah! That, that's simple. Today, we use our power to fell a god, and then... Seize our destiny! All that I am is fading. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation. Where am I? This is my home. Your home? Let's begin the experiment. Whose voice was that? It is Zanza. Before he became a god. When he was simply a man of flesh and blood. No! The results have not been confirmed! It's too dangerous! And that voice? It's Maynath. Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe. We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe. Once, only a god could perform such a miracle. But today, mankind moves one step closer to Damn, the divine. Yes!
it was simple curiosity. The curiosity of a single man that destroyed the universe and created a new one. A new universe. Your world was born. And so, two gods came into existence. Zanza and Maineth were lonely, so they created life in their own image. And that was how we were born. As the world advanced to each further stage, it was inherited by generations of different life forms. But over time, awareness of Zanza faded. Zanza feared this. In order to escape his own annihilation, he wished for a world in a perpetual cycle of destruction and recreation. Bionis being filled with life, and the Telethia coming to wipe it out. It was all the will of Zanza. It was. But the truth of the matter is that he longed for friendship. His future, and our future, it might have been possible for them to coexist. Correct. However, that time has passed. The old god was defeated by the new god that he himself created. New god? Yes. That is why I appeared before you, Shulk. Alvis, what are you? I am the administrative computer of a phase transition experiment facility, but that will mean little to you. To you, I am a machine. That is my original form. Alvis? This world is stagnant. It has expired. Therefore, I will ask you, its new god, what is your wish? Will you allow the world to continue to stagnate? Or will you allow it to evolve to the next level? The choice is yours to make. I don't know. All I wanted to do was stop Zanza having his way, that's all. I cannot be a god. Too right. You're great and all, but there's no way you're a god. Everyone. Look, don't worry, Shulk. None of us want to be gods anyway. And I don't really know what the future holds, but we just want to live our life as it comes. Eating grub, sleeping, laughing, crying, sometimes arguing. Sounds all right? Yes, he's right. And being with the ones we love, that's enough. Even so, we change little by little. Every day is a little different from the last. We do not know what the future will hold. More fun not knowing! Ricky want to have fun! Life's little surprises are what makes it great. We don't know what's going to happen. It's worrying sometimes, but it's also exciting. Don't you think? Yeah. Isn't that called progress? Aren't we all continuously evolving? I'm not sure we need a more dramatic change than that. Yeah. You're right. Little by little. Each day as it comes. That's how we should live. That's our world. Forgive my presumptuousness, but I recreated their personalities from your consciousness. Alvis, it sounds like you don't think I can make my own decisions. I'm supposed to be the god. Apologies. However, I have good reason. This world has little time remaining if left in this state. Have you made your decision? The choice is yours, creator. Tell me your decision. 
for the future of this world. I won't decide. The future should be decided by each and every person in the world. And so, what I... No. What we wish for is... A world with no gods! Wow, that was a lot. There's obviously going to be a lot of talking involved at the end here, but uh, let's just watch the rest of this. It's Colony 9. Hi, Antia, Nopon, Homs, all hanging out. Oh, even Makina. Oh, look, uh, what was her name? I forgot her name, but she was the uh, doctor lady. Oh. Are you trying to the kill Colonel. me? Oh, I'm really sorry, Colonel. Sorry? What do you mean, sorry? <laughs> Squat jumps around the entire colony. Fifty laps. There's the chief of the no pawn. Ah, yes. That's excellent. So, you can take the materials to District 4. The restoration's coming along nicely. Thanks to Melia and Venea. The High Entia and Machina have some amazing technology. We are happy to help. To live alongside one another in harmony. After all, I have no doubt this is what Lady Maynath and Egil would have wanted. Hear, hear. And may it last forever. Dumban? Fiora! What is it? Have you seen Shulk? Oh, uh, he just left. I don't know where he's gone, but he was with Ryan and the others. Okay, thank you. Fiora? Yes? Uh... It's nothing. Good luck. If you're looking for Shulk, he is not here. Amazing! It's like you've got eyes in the back of your head. What were you looking at? The sea. Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. Wow. You're so much more thoughtful than me. Really? I don't think so. I was just answering your question. But I know what you mean. You're right. We've been through a lot. Yes. We have. I am grateful to all of you. It is because I met you that I experienced so much. And it is the reason I am here now yes we're happy you're here too thanks melia for everything i'm glad i met you <laughs> and i you yeah all most got it rain go rain oh ricky really hungry Put your whoa, back into whoa. it, Ryan. Ah. Are you okay? <coughs> it's salt 
salty. What's up with the water being so salty? Ryan, you're terrible at this. When was the last time you fished? <laughs> I'm a bad fisherman. Ricky won't eat big fish. Give us a break. You try next time, Furball. Oh, fishing is Ryan's job. Ricky's job is eating. <sighs> Hang on a sec. Isn't Ocker gonna have a massive go at you if you don't go back to her with 14 fish to feed all your little pond? Oh, Ricky forgot. Wifey pond very angry if not catch more fish. You know me, she's gonna be angry with. No, Ryan, catch fish! Catch fish Ryan. now! Oh, <laughs> fish! <laughs> to say to that sorry okay it's great like that don't change it <sighs> I'd forgotten what it feels like to do this I wonder what the future has in store for us who knows I'm sure it will be full of ups and downs ups and downs I don't know what the future holds, but that means I can imagine the possibilities. We can achieve anything we put our minds to. Yeah, you're right. Do you remember what the Monado, I mean Alvis, said to us the last time we saw him? Yes, of course. Shook. Sure. This new world is boundless. It is home to not only you, but many forms of life. I can see it. In this world, all life will walk towards the future, hand in hand. One day, I hope I can meet them all. The people of this endless world. Me too. We will. I know it. Mm -hmm. We'll meet them. And whatever happens, we'll face our future together. Yay, Fiora. I think that's supposed to say Fiora, but that was probably the original name because um, it's the Japanese voice cast. So Zord was spelled with a Z. I think Dixon they spelled different as well. Manus instead of Manus. Elvis with two S. So that's really interesting. Uh, yay, guys. Awesome. Oh my god. So beautiful. So there's a few things that I do want to talk about. So First of all, we created our own Monado, right, which was like crazy, and it was the third Monado, so that's what kind of, it was just like, because we were creating our own future. But apparently this whole world is like, the whole universe, uh, our universe, because remember, we were walking through through space, right, and we saw Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, and an Earth, uh, the moon with Earth in the background. And that was supposed to indicate, like, this is what the original world, it's, it's kind of, I guess it was like, a simulation of the original world or something because then it kind of shows 
our world with like the space station around it where Klaus, who is quote unquote Zanza, right, um, created a new universe by doing some kind of something we don't really know and like Manus tried to try to stop him and couldn't and then destroyed the he just from what Alvis, who is the supercomputer, we also find this out. Uh, that said that um, he destroyed the universe and created a new one and that's the one that we live in now and he became, you know, Zanza and Maynith became the gods of that new world uh, without maybe even realizing what their life before this was, like, I, I don't know if they know I don't know but, uh, yeah, and then we kind of uh, we, you know, and then it's like they become the gods and then they get bored of being by themselves in this world so they start creating these other creatures and that's when we come around and blah 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 and then we change it so I, I don't know so at the end we were supposed to like a new universe was born at the end I guess they were kind of like showing that you know when he throws out the Monado and then it's just like they show the world they show the Bionis kind of like crumbling or whatever and then the world around it like kind of like implodes or whatever like it just kind of sucks into and then it just explodes and um and uh i guess a new universe is born i i feel like that's probably more so a, a symbol of like oh we're changing the world rather than like recreating a whole new world or something but i don't know it's very like again it's kind of like up to interpretation because because they didn't recreate a whole new world you know it was like when the original, when this universe was created, ours was destroyed, which was like Earth, right? It was like Earth was completely destroyed, and then now we have this like endless ocean world where two gods came into creation, right? And it was the two giants, the uh, Bionis and Mekonis. And it was just, it's kind of weird, right? Because it's just kind of like, okay, now when, if we're recreating this world, shouldn't we be living in a new world? But we're not, because while we looked at the very end, was Colony 9, and uh, Colony 9 was safe because it was almost to the water level, right? It was it was so low on the Bionis' leg that when the Bionis collapsed, uh, Colony 9 was fine, because it was like this island anyways, and I guess they ended up being okay or whatever. Um, and the rest of the stuff around it was actually the debris of uh, the Bionis that we see, right? All the other stuff. So it's like... But now this whole other world is out there, right? It's kind of... I, I, I guess that's what they're hinting at, is what changed was the world that we live in or something. And it's not just the two giants or something, maybe. Or maybe they're talking about, like, other planets, because they're saying that as they're looking to the stars. So maybe they're thinking about, like, let's go to the stars or other planets or something. I don't know. Um, but there's also one interesting scene at the very end when they're showing all the different locations. There's one location... Oh, it's just kind of giving us a like, this is like a end of the movie kind of thing. Uh, Monolith, yeah, Monolith Soft. Ooh, so happy, so great. That was really good. Um, but they give us the scene. Uh, they give us the different scenes of all the different areas, right? And there was actually the scene. I don't know, uh, you know, and and you guys can go back in the video. There was a scene where the Telethia were flying over the, I believe, is the left shoulder of the Bionis. And it has all this, um, this, like, it, it looks, like, really cool, right? It has all these, like, different things on it and whatever, right? And I will tell you guys, so that was part of the original game, right? The, this this cutscene was not changed or anything. But that was an area that was shown off that we never had access to. The left shoulder of the Bionis, like, wh what the heck? Like, that was not, not something we could ever go to because that it just wasn't. From what I understand, that was one of the cut areas from the game. But they still used it in the cutscene. Um, now... Here's the fun thing, and we will see this in the next episode. Um, the extra story actually takes place on that shoulder. So we will actually, that area that you guys see in that cutscene, which was cut from the original game, was actually reused for the extra story, which is pretty much, the extra story is, you know, what happens after. Like, there, there's like this little story, this little 
apparently it's supposed to be a tie-in with the other Xen with like the Xenoblade uh, universe because they're all somewhat connected in like weird ways and I don't know how they're connected I think Elvis has something to do with that I will I will know I remember something about the necklace that he was wearing he's wearing this red necklace I think that is has some kind of importance as well so keep some of those things in mind when we go into Xenoblade Chronicles 2 uh, and maybe even the extra story maybe we'll see more of this stuff um, and yeah and and kind of keep in mind like Maneth and Klaus on the space station like I don't know if that's going to come into play, uh, you know, as we go into this other stuff. But yeah, we have, we've cleared the base game, guys. This is it. And we have now created, and now we're going to play the extra story, which pretty much picks up right where this cutscene that we just had ends. It's, uh, you know, and it, it tells about this, ex the, the just pretty much what happens to the stuff there's just stuff that you'll see and you know we'll, we'll get into all of that but yeah uh the base game i mean beautiful we have that beautiful song at the end and uh you know I, i'm i'm so thrilled to go into this new year uh, and we're going to be doing grandia 2 as you know that's I, I mean we're going to do the extra story and then grandia 2 but i'm just really excited to uh get into xenoblades more you know it's something that i'm really looking forward to so uh and then we have yeah so we have the you can either continue playing or you can do a new game plus um and then uh all of your party members will be uh carried over levels arts and party affinity money key items obviously will not because you're restarting the story uh, achievement re records will be carried over. Achievement trials, which we haven't done any of them. Uh, affinity chart with the uh, with the different um, places is not getting uh, carried over with the different locations. Uh, but that's also because the quests are not being carried over, and that helps with uh, building the affinity. So that's why they're kind of resetting that. Shulk now holds the true Monado, so he will not receive the Monado again in subsequent. Sequent. Uh, playthrough so this is the Monado that he will carry constantly I believe uh, I think you can I think you can do the the uh, other ones the um, the fake ones or not the fake ones but the other swords that were made for him uh, where there were like other Monados that we could like unlock and stuff I think you can replace that but I think he has the ability to just use the true Monado which is really cool so uh, and uh, I'm gonna overwrite that and that's the clear data and we're also level 80 just and uh, so the bottom one right here this is me having played through uh, the last time on on my last playthrough right here um, I, I should have maybe not I, I don't really care that I overwrote that um, the autosave is still there too but um, but yeah so you know this this is like look at how similar this is though like this was my last playthrough this is when i originally when this came out i played it in 2020 uh i i played through that and this is and then i played the extra story or whatever uh but the playtime is just about the same and the level is the same it's really weird right it's a different team because i remember i was using shulk uh in in that playthrough but yeah it's it's weird right how uh that the play time so you can kind of i mean from that you can kind of guess like 60 to 65 hours somewhere around that is probably what this game's base story kind of takes we did take some detours and stuff but i don't think i did that in my main story or in the in the original playthrough that i did with this so um but yeah uh thank you guys so much for joining me i hope you really enjoyed this game and i hope you will, guys will stick around for the extra story which is really cool and again uh I hope you guys will kind of remember, for my sake, uh, when we get into Xenoblade Chronicles 2, some of the details of this game, because God knows my memory is bad. But it's okay, because we're uploading this, so I can go back and watch this again and kind of see how they connect or whatever. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm O'Reilly. I do stream over on Twitch every so often if you guys want to follow me over there. And like I said, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it. And stay tuned for uh, the extra story and uh, other playthroughs of, um, you know, or the play black and the Xenoblade Chronicles uh, 2 and the expansion for that and 3 and probably by the time we get to 3 it'll probably have an expansion out as well I'm guessing because they're probably going to do an expansion for that as well uh, I don't think anything has been announced yet um, 
but uh, I will do that as well. They will all be blind playthroughs, guys. I have never played any of those. I don't know, and it's going to be super fun, and I'm super excited. So thank you guys so much, and see you guys then. Bye, guys.